Hello everyone, welcome to the series of mathematics lessons. This is a continuation of the previous lecture. Let us see activity 3. Take a sheet of rectangular paper and fold this paper exactly at half of its length. When you fold this, you will see something like this, the folded paper. Hold this folded paper as it is, then take a scissor carefully cut any shape as you want like this here here the paper is made to cut like a mango this part will be cut carefully using the scissors once this is removed when you unfold this folded paper you will see this you will see a symmetrical you will see a symmetrical mango now let us see some of the examples of symmetrical figures example 1 examine whether these given figures are symmetrical figures or not if they are symmetrical figures then how many axes of symmetry could be drawn on them you can draw an axis of symmetry on this figure at this region this is a symmetrical figure which has one axis of symmetry this one axis of symmetry in example B there is a banana let us draw an axis this cannot be the axis of symmetry because when you fold this figure it won't match both sides won't match if you draw an axis at this region even this cannot be the axis of symmetry because when we fold this object we see two different figures we can also draw multiple axes but we cannot find a single axis of symmetry so this is not an example of symmetrical figure now let us see example C we can draw two axes of symmetry one horizontally when you fold this figure horizontally both the shapes matches so there is one axis of symmetry axis of symmetry there is also one more axis of symmetry when we when we fold this figure vertically both the shapes matches so this is an example of symmetrical object which has two axes of symmetry axis of symmetry is a singular axis of symmetry is plural let us see exercise 8.1 2 a few lines have been drawn on the following figures and the lines are denoted with the numbers this axis is denoted with 1 this axis is denoted with 2 for this example similarly for B and C identify the axis or axis of symmetry and write its corresponding number let us see example A when we fold when we fold this figure vertic or horizontally this part doesn't match with this part so 2 cannot be an axis of symmetry let us see 1 when we fold this figure vertically both the shapes matches so 1 is the axis of symmetry for this example let us say example B when we fold when we fold at line 3 shape doesn't match when we fold at line 2 also shape doesn't match but when we fold at line 1 shape matches on both the sides so 1 is the axis of symmetry when we fold at line 2 
both side doesn't match you can try this by your own both sides doesn't match when we fold at line 3 vertically both the sides matches same thing the same principle follows for 1 when we fold at line 1 both the sides matches so the axis of symmetry for this object is 3 and 1 let us see example 4 a few symmetrical figures with only half part is being drawn complete the remaining half part by drawing it let us draw example 1 I will try to draw as symmetrical as possible You can try example B and example C. The content of this recording is borrowed from Karnataka Textbook Society Bangalore under fair usage policy. This video is presented by Avari Technologies. Please do hit subscribe button to get more content. Thank you.